For us, the, the new entrants to market, I mean, Netflix, Hulu, the sort of regional, local, local, local platforms have been incredibly useful. Um, and I think, particularly when you're dealing with a, a brand that you want to build, a, a you know, big program brand, actually sort of managing those windows and, and having the exposure, for example, on the main network, then having a decent video on demand partner, uh, perhaps moving on to a sort of cable platform, you know, where you put your DVD partner into the whole mix. Um, actually, if we can join all of that up, which I think is the sort of the skill and the challenge of, of a good distribution business, it's very, very helpful in, in, in making sure that audiences can find the show in a number of different spaces. Um, and I think, again, in terms of building a sort of PR campaign around a show, uh, building, building an audience, building visibility, those, those have, been, have been very helpful. So yes, there are challenges in terms of managing the windows and the rights position. Um, we think there are big opportunities in terms of building a profile for a show. Um, and making sure that it reaches as wide an audience as possible. It's quite complicated, but it certainly means that if you've got a show that's worked well in all those spaces and it's coming back for a second series and a third series and a fourth series, um, you can really generate interest, your revenues can grow, and um, you know, they're very, it's very, very helpful. I mean, when it comes down to the consolidation in the distribution sector, that just goes in waves, doesn't it? You know, you, you have a period when it happens and uh, people have more scale. I mean, they perhaps have more and deeper pockets, um, perhaps have more reach. But I think that does mean that there's room for, again, the kind of smaller end of the market, the more bespoke boutique distributors who perhaps specialise in one genre in one area. So, uh, you know, it's just all part of a healthy kind of market economy, I suppose. Um, and and we, we all, we all, we all just live with it really and, and, and opportunities come out of everything I think. We're all wrestling with well, how you monetize that short form content uh, outside the original platform um, and I, I don't think we've quite cracked that yet. I mean that, that's an area which we're sort of mulling over. Um, uh, that, that's probably one of the areas I'd single out. The other, the other area is uh, you know, in, in sort of local format production how you particularly in certain territories like which are, that are very attractive, like the bigger sort of China, Brazil, Latin America, you know, who's the right local partner to work with, um, how you supply the sort of correct level of production expertise while managing to kind of keep your development process going on back at the back at base uh, to, to those markets. We're looking at that. Um, I think again in kind of more developing markets, how you produce the kind of app or the support system around a format, that's a that's a ongoing debate. Um, we've seen lots of people have a crack at that and, and, and we've done it ourselves with a million second quiz but it can be quite complicated. Um, so you know those, those are probably the areas that I'd single out as, as we've not quite cracked it yet. Uh, in terms of what I can see coming, um, yeah, some, someone's going to do something interesting around short form I think.